We have already covered the introduction part of biochemistry, where we have ended with the topic of four classes of biomolecules. Today, in this video, we will start with the first classification of biomolecules, carbohydrates. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. Okay. Where do we find carbohydrates in our day-to-day -day life? Yes, in foods that we eat like rice, chapatis, pastas, etc. etc. are carbs. Carbohydrates are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. That is, we get CH2O, where C represents carbon and H2O is water. So, carbohydrates is also known as hydrates of carbon. General formula is CN, H2N, ON, where N denotes carbon number. Another name of carbohydrate is saccharides, which means sweet taste. Saccharides are divided based on number of units. First is monosaccharides, which is one unit. Second, disaccharides, which is two units. Third, oligosaccharides is three to six units. And last is polysaccharides, which is of many units. Let's briefly go through all these four types. First, monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are further classified based on carbon numbers from 3 to 7. Firstly, here you can see three carbon atoms which is known as triose. According to the general formula of carbohydrates, here carbon number is M which is 3. Therefore, the formula is C3H6O3. One example of triose is glyceraldehyde. Secondly, you can see here four carbon atoms which is known as tetros. Therefore, the general formula is C4H8O4. Example is erythrose. Next is five carbon atoms which is known as pentose. General formula is C5. H10O5. Examples are ribose and deoxyribose. Okay, here comes the main sugar of living organisms, which has six carbon atoms known as hexose. General formula is C6H12O6. And examples are glucose, fructose, and galactose. The last one of monosaccharides is with seven carbon atoms known as heptose. General formula is C7H14O7 and the example is sedoheptylose. We have done with monosaccharides. Now the second type is disaccharides. Di means two, saccharides means sugar. Any sugar. Okay. When two glucose are linked together by glycosidic bond forms maltose. Maltose is found in malt sugar. Also, when glucose and fructose are linked by glycosidic bond, it forms sucrose. Sucrose is found in cane sugar. Even glucose and galactose are linked by glycosidic bond to form lactose. We all know lactose is found in milk. Next type is oligosaccharides. We will study here 3 to 6 units of saccharides. First one is of 3 units with 1 galactose, 1 glucose and fructose which are linked together by glycosidic bond to form raffinose. As raffinose contains three units, it's also known as trisaccharides. Raffinose is found in vegetables like cabbage and broccoli. 
second is of four units with two galactose one glucose and one fructose which are linked together to form stachyose this is also known as tetrasaccharide stachyose is found in green beans and soya bean third part of oligosaccharide is of five units with three galactose one glucose one fructose which are linked together to form verbascose it is also known as pentasaccharide verbascose is found in legumes next is oligosaccharides with six units of glucose linked together to form alpha cyclodextrin alpha cyclodextrin is found in food grade enzymes such as pineapples last type of carbohydrate is polysaccharides have you ever thought how plants store energy okay this is the straight chain of glucose known as amylose even glucose can be in a branch chain which is known as amylopectin so plants store energy in the form of amylose and amylopectin then how humans and animals store energy this is highly branched chain of glucose known as glycogen so basically humans and animals store energy in the form of glycogen now if glucose chains are arranged horizontally and joined by hydrogen bond this forms cellulose cellulose is found in cell wall of plants consider a long chain of glucose with amino groups are attached to it which forms chitin chitin is found in exoskeleton of crabs here glucose chains are arranged in a slanting order with peptide chains joining together to form peptidoglycan peptidoglycan is found in cell wall of bacteria now let's categorize saccharides into simple and complex sugars monosaccharides and disaccharides comes in simple sugars while oligosaccharides and polysaccharides comes in complex sugars This was all about the carbohydrates. We will see the other three classes in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.